Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Tiny Raver. Thanks for joining me today. I am so excited to be doing this video. I just bought this pair of shoes that I spent a really pretty penny on and I've been dying to open this package. I was hoping it would arrive yesterday and it didn't arrive until today. And today is Halloween, which is why I'm wearing my little cat ears. I hope you guys had a fun and safe Halloween, but I'm really excited to open these boots. So let's get right to it. So these shoes are from Dolls Kill. Dolls Kill does have a lot of controversy. Um, they're really known for stealing from smaller artists, which I'm not for. However, I did try and purchase these boots from somewhere else. And the, when I looked for them, I was even thinking about purchasing them from someone that's already had them and worn them. But the girl on Poshmark was trying to sell them for $475, which is twice the market value of these. And I'm not going to be gouged for a pair of boots. I'd rather just not have them. But Dolls Kill had the shoes and um, they came back in stock and I had seen them before. I had actually seen the silver and then I saw the pink and I couldn't find the pink ones again. But then I saw on their Instagram that, they, that the brand had released more. Um, the brand is actually Club X, and then you can buy it from Dolls Kill. Club X doesn't retail with many other places, so I had to buy them through Dolls Kill at a reasonable price. At the probably the best price that I'll get because if I buy them from somewhere else, it wouldn't be that great. So this is packaged. Like I said, it arrived. Yes, no, it arrived today. I've been dying to open these. Um, cute packaging. I've ordered from Dolls Kill before. I try not to buy from there a lot because, you know, they do a lot of shady stuff. I'm not going to lie. Like, my girlfriend was telling me that she posted in response to something that they said. Because I don't know if you had seen, but they posted a picture with a shirt saying, Dead girls can't say no. And that's fucking disgusting. Enough said. And I'm not trying to excuse my own behavior from purchasing from them, but this really was the only place that I could get the boots. And these boots are me. I saw them. I wish Club X would retail somewhere else. I can't choose that. And I know maybe I shouldn't have bought them. But I, I hold myself accountable for choosing to purchase from Dolls Kill. Um, anyway, packaging is pretty cute. If you look on the back, it has all these cool designs. Little alien. Dolls Kill is pretty well known for you know, Ray fashion, so if that's something you're into, they're a good place to purchase from, but again, you know, your morals come into place and you feel bad for purchasing from somewhere that posts something like, dead girls can't say no. So that's me right now. Anyways, I'm gonna open this up. Got my scissors, because I already broke two nails. Can you see? Don't want to break any more. I literally did these nails two days ago. Yes, I did my own nails with Poly Gel Nail. If you haven't heard of it, definitely a better investment than going to the nail salon and paying about 70 bucks a set, which is what I was paying. And for like an LED lamp and this little kit, I probably sp I spent $70 and I've used it three times now. So I'm getting my money's worth. Anyway, let's open this. The package is pretty heavy. So... But the box is too big. I thought the boots would be a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. Yes! Okay, right, like I said, Club X boots. I have been dying for shoes like this. Like, this is definitely something very different from what I would normally purchase. Oh! Inside. Shiny paper. So cute. Okay, let's open it. Okay. So, see the shoes are wrapped individually. You can kind of see. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, bitch. Oh my god. Are these gorgeous or what? Look at these. And they match perfectly with my nails. I literally... Oh, let me show you my good hand. I literally did my nails like this just so I can match it to the boots because I have a really cute outfit planned for these and I cannot wait to show you guys what I have planned 
But these are the boots. They're heavy. They feel pretty uh, sturdy. My one concern is, I actually think they're so, I don't know how to say this, so please don't judge me, but they're Swarovski crystals. I'm, I think that's what these are because of the way that they shine back. Obviously, these bigger rhinestones are fake, but these small rhinestones definitely look like Swarovski crystals. Um, right now, I'm just looking at them for any missing jewels. It doesn't look like any are missing on this boot. But they do have a strange smell. Like, not too weird, but a little bit of a scent to it when you open the box, too. But even the interior of the boot is pink. Let's see. Get that last one. Ooh. A little bit of paper stuck to him. Yes, so these boots were $175. I did afterpay because I'm a broke bitch and I could not afford to pay $175 right up front. But um, that would just take two, like four weeks. No, no, not four weeks. It's every two weeks I'm charged a certain amount. So it's not a bad deal. Um, I've noticed a lot of companies now are starting to use afterpay or things like that. Just because a lot of us are broke bitches. <laughs> and it's easier to get paid every two weeks and just, you know, divvy up the, uh, how much you need to pay off. Because I don't want to put it on my credit card, like, I'd rather just slowly pay it off. Because if I put it on my credit card, then I get to charge interest. But yeah, so this is the right foot. Very, very cute. Even the sole is this very light baby pink. And if you can't tell based off my curtains, based off my top, based off my cat ears. Pink is my favorite color, and that is why I bought these. Um, there It's pretty bright, though. For the outfit that I have planned, the pink is going to kind of be off, but it's still a shade of pink, so it should go pretty low. There's my glue. Oh, it's a long piece of glue attached to it. I saw, um, okay, I cannot remember her name right now, so I will put it at the bottom in the channel uh, description, but um, Madison Lee, something like that, she's an influencer slash model on Instagram, and I saw her wearing these, and I totally, 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 like, immediately knew I needed to have these, and uh, then when I saw that Dolls Kill was releasing more, I pretty much flipped my shit and was like, I need to have these, even if it's $175. So right now, I'm liking them so far. It looks like this is adjustable. So you can zip this down. And you could probably even take like the buckle off. I don't know, but the buckle kind of, you know, brings it all together because it's a cowboy boot. I don't even have a pair of cowboy boots. This is very different from what I would wear but so rave appropriate because you can do anything with these and the the heel is pretty tiny um i like having a little heel i'm a five foot girl so when i do go to raves and events it helps <laughs> like i can never see over anyone at edc my boyfriend had to hold me up just so i could see skrillex because we're all the way in the fucking back and he turns to me saying, can you see it? Can you see it? I'm like, I just see fucking people's heads right now. First of all, I can't see shit. But, um, I don't, I didn't wear my platforms. And, oh, uh, I might have, actually, I wore it the first day. And Skrillex was the second day. Yes, the second day. Yes. And, uh, wait, was he? Honestly, I can't remember. It was a little while ago. This was back in May. I'm going to EDC again this year, though. And I plan on wearing a different pair of boots. I don't have very many right now because I'm really more into comfort. But those platform boots are super, super comfortable. I will be doing a review on those different video. But every rave girl has those boots. I went to Ultra. I've been to Audiotistic in, in Northern California. Um, and EDC, 
every girl has those boots. But, like, I call them basic bitch boots because they're staples. Uh, but these... I don't know how many people will have these. I really like being able to stand out from other people. And I, don't get me wrong, like, I don't mind having the same outfit as other girls. But then you you see on everyone, and you're like, oh, I don't feel that special anymore. Or at least that's how I feel. Maybe you don't feel that way. I mean, I run up to girls, and I'm like, oh my god, we're wearing the same outfit. But then I feel like they think I'm weird for doing that. And they're like, oh, okay. And I'm just, like, super friendly, so that's why I do it. But I don't, I don't think people appreciate when I do that too much. So maybe I just shouldn't do that. Okay. This is the other one. Super cute. Again, super shiny. I love how much shine that I have to them. Like, oh, bitch. I'm dying. I haven't tried them on, obviously, because I just opened them. Um, So I don't know how they fit yet. I am going to try them on for you as well. But I want to try them on outside for you guys. And right now it's dark. So you'll see later on in this video it's really hard to get this last piece of paper out now i just need to think about where i'm gonna put them because i don't want to keep them in the box the box is pretty big surprisingly but they they're a little bit taller so it makes sense but the shoes have a good weight to them Man, paper's hard to get out. Ooh. Almost broke a nail there. Ah, there we go. Yes. So like I said, you can take off the buckle. So that's pretty cool. If you wanted to move it higher, you could. If you want to... You know, <gasps> what is that? I don't know what this is, so I just took off the buckle. You can see that. I don't know what that is. So that makes me a little worried already. Like, did I break it? Now I have to look at the other one. See what the hell I just did. Okay, so again, taking off the buckle. This one does not have it, you can see, but it looks like it's these pieces. So I'm going to see if that's missing in there. Mm. Not really missing anything on here. It looks like they added too many of them. So it's these little embellish embellishments that are being held together by that. Uh, looks like it was just got stuck on it or something. Although I don't know why they would check for that. But it doesn't look like it should bother me. I did see maybe a loose jewel. Like I can see that that little embellishment right there, it's missing a clasp on the outside. I'm a total shoe girl, so I definitely check out all of my shoes when I'm purchasing them. Because, oh. Never mind, I'm just blind. It does have an embellishment. I mean, it does have a clasp. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. It doesn't. I'm kidding. That one doesn't have a little clasp to keep it in. So the rest of them all have the four um, little clasp to keep them in, but that one does not. Check this boot. Okay, this I did notice. 
the jewels are all jacked up. Can you see that one? It's not right. And the clasp is a little bit messed up. So right here, the third jewel in, right? Oh, no, no, the fourth jewel in. It's just not sitting right. It's kind of hard to see in the video. But in person, you can totally tell. And I know people probably aren't going to be looking up that close at my shoes. But it's also a quality thing for me. That actually really bugs me because I can see the jewel sticking out and it's not centered properly. And the same thing with the one next to it. So I might have to message them about that so they can send me new ones. And then here, The jewels aren't even facing the right way. Right there. You can see it because they're like a gold. I mean, I know that's not too worrisome. But, I don't know, it kind of bugs me. The buckle will obviously be sitting over it. I want to check this. So, so if the buckle's sitting over it, it will hide it. But I just don't know how, how they, you know, obviously they have to be glued onto the boot. And if you go to like a Michaels, what they normally have are those pen shaped things where you can glue on the Stavosky crystals. I don't know how they, they put all these jewels on it. Um, I doubt someone has to sit there doing that. For sure, probably a machine, because this thing has a fuck ton of crystals. But then, you know, you lose quality when you, you trust a machine. It's not the same. It's not the same work. And because this bends, like right here, there's a little gap. No crystals there. And that kind of bugs me that they're not completely even right here. See how that one sits a little higher? I'm I'm not OCD, but I notice these things. Uh huh. I mean, it's not perfectly straight, that's for sure. Can I live with it? We shall see. This one though, you can still see this little thing hanging off. I think it's just glued to it now. I don't think I'll have a problem with that. As long as the little buckle around the boot is fine and not missing anything to hold on, I should be okay. I want to check this one again to see if anything's missing or wrong. They don't seem to have a lot of padding in here. I can see one crystal not sitting right, right here. You can see it again because it's that gold backing. Overall though, I'm really liking the boots. Um, really t minor defects, there's not even anything wrong with the shoe. As long as I can wear the shoe and look hella fucking cute in the shoe, I'm happy. Uh, I really like the details with the silver reflective lining. Like a mirror almost, but just right there. And you know, the baby pink on the bottom is really, really nice. They even have the jewels going through here. I'm 
typically a six, so I did order these in a six. Sizing for me is so weird because um, I have small feet, and so in brands like Adidas, I can wear a four and a half. Um, I've never worn their shoes. The shoes that I bought prior from Dolls Kill, I want to say I bought them in a seven, because sometimes I can fit six and a half or seven. It just really depends on the brand. But um, those were a little bit too big for me, and then I got inserts to make them a little bit tighter, and now they feel pretty good. Uh, yeah. So next, I'm going to try these on. I'm going to try them on and show you guys them outside. Like I said, right now it's really dark, so I can't do that yet. But once I do, you're going to see it in the next part of this video. Just want to make sure there's nothing missing on the boot. Like, the paper gets really stuck to them. And I have nails, so I know it's hard to get off. Oh, well, fuck it. But yeah, my biggest problem with the boots is these little gems. Like, I hope you can see it the way I see it. Right there, you can kind of see... The gem is just not sitting properly. I would be afraid of it falling out. Doesn't it just look like it's going to pop out or something? I don't know. I think it's really hard to see in the video. I might have to take a different video of him. But my first thoughts are the boots are gorgeous. I mean... I know they're $175 because of the crystals. Those crystals are very expensive. Even if you go to Michael's, you can get a pack for... I don't know. Actually, I can't remember how much they are. I know they're pretty expensive, though, because even when you go to the nail shop and you get Swarovski crystals like that, they, they charge you extra for that. A good amount. Sometimes, even at nail shops I've been to, if I'm getting crystals like that, it can be $10 a nail. Sometimes more. But it really depends on what you're doing. $175 for this does seem pretty steep to me. Uh, I don't think I've ever dropped that much on a pair of shoes. I mean, that sounds pretty ridiculous to spend. Again, I'm a shoe girl. I love my shoes. I think shoes complete an outfit. Some people love jewelry. I'm totally a shoe girl. I mean, I, I don't have any Louis Vuittons yet. Would I like some? Probably, one day, if I could afford it. Right now, these are within my budget because of Afterpay. Thank you, whoever invented Afterpay. Thank you. Um, would I buy them again? Pink's my favorite color. And these are very different from what I normally wear. But I love them. I mean, look at even the lining here is pink. Everything about them, I love. It's just, just so well made. They're not leather. But they're cute. They look like they'll last a while. They better last a while. <laughs> but my biggest concern is definitely about the jewels falling off. Especially those misplaced gems. The one missing a clasp because festivals tend to get pretty hectic you're walking you're typically walking from stage to stage to stage and then you know with all that walking i'd ha definitely have to consider the jewels falling out and with dancing especially um people stepping on the shoes that's my bigger concern people stepping on the shoes if someone steps on these i'm literally going to yell at them like what the fuck do not step I'm a pink shiny boots bitch. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but otherwise, they're really cute. I'm really happy with my purchase. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say about these for now. So let me try them on. I'm going to try them on tomorrow when it's bright out. Take some cute ass photos. So right now that's that <laughs> don't mind me this is only my second video guys like 
I'm so nervous about doing this. Only be oh man, I guess I did not put that buckle on right. I completely put the buckle on it back around, but there I fixed it. But, yeah, but I'm still nervous about my whole vlog. Cause there might be a lot of people that watch this. Or maybe I'll get big and famous or something. Like I follow other musical music festival vloggers. But I'm really passionate about this right now. And I'm gonna stop while I'm still ahead. So thank you for watching. You will see Scratch that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna take a video with the boots on, and you guys are gonna see my outfit next week. If you want to see how I style these and what makeup I'm gonna style with my outfit, stay tuned for the next two videos because these bad boys will be in it. Thank you guys again for watching, and I appreciate you. I love you. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, down below, you know what to do. Thank you, and bye.